Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. So I have a big update here regarding Comcast, aka Xfinity. If you're an Xfinity customer, you might want to listen to this. You may have already been notified about this. Not really sure how the notifications went out. I know notifications went out, but I, I, I don't know if it was uh, expressive enough to let you know what was actually going on and, and the actual concern behind their requests. So here's what's going on anyway. Big data breach regarding Comcast, AKA Xfinity, possibly expect, uh, affecting 35 plus million people. So this is a big deal because that's a lot of people. All right, so here's what's going on. Apparently on Monday, uh, it was disclosed that attackers who breached one of its Citrix servers in October stole customer sensitive information from its systems. They're saying back in October, October 25th to be exact, Roughly two weeks, they're saying, after a big release of security updates for Citrix, they're saying the, the purpose of this update was to address critical vulnerabilities known as Citrix Bleed and tracked as CVE 2023-4966 is the code. They're saying the telecommunications company found evidence of malicious activity on its network between the time frame of October 16th and October 19th. Now, according to cybersecurity company Mandiant, they're saying that the Citrix flaw had been actively exploited as zero, zero days since at least late August 2023. So there was an investigation into the impact of the incident, and they're saying Xfinity discovered on November 16th that the attackers also exfiltrated data from its systems with a data breach affecting 35,879,455 people. That is a lot of people. Now, according to a statement made by uh, someone who worked from Xfinity, they didn't give any names here, but they're saying that after additional review of the affected systems and data, Xfinity concluded on December 6, 2023, that the customer information and scope included usernames and hashed passwords. Now, um, I guess, it, what does it say here? It says, for some customers, other information may have also been included, such as names, contact information, last four digits of social security numbers, dates, dates of birth, and or secret questions and answers. However, the data analysis is continuing. So it's still piling up. This is still developing. So a lot of information could have been compromised, and this is a massive amount of people. So it's not looking too good. Um, that's why I wanted to report to you guys. You know, we talk about cable providers here. That's part of what we do. I, I consider that part of the conversation here, along with the wireless networks. It's kind of hand in hand to me. That's, that's why we talk about that here too. We give respect to that because it kind of goes hand in hand. But, um, they're saying while Xfinity says it has asked users to reset their passwords to protect, to protect affected accounts, customers report that they had been getting password reset requests last week without any indication as to why that was happening. So now now you guys know. There is a, um, I, I guess there was something posted on X here. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'll share this with you. So there was a message here by Eric Wright, not sure who that is, but uh, he's saying, what's the expected duration between a breach customer notification, asking for a friend, and how many thousands of friends who are in the middle of a Xfinity password reset? when their default login login page forces a password reset and the call center has over 60 minute wait. Yeah, well, that's what happens when a massive data breach happens and everyone gets those notifications, the call centers get flooded. Do not, I feel bad for the people that work there. Their, their heads probably exploded that day. But um, so the message that went out, I guess, was to protect your account, we have proactively asked you to reset your password. The next time you log into your Xfinity account, you will be prompted to change your password if you haven't been asked to do so already. That was published apparently on their website. Uh, they're saying compromised accounts were then used to reset account passwords for other services, including the Coinbase and Gemini crypto exchanges. So now we're talking about um, other more sensitive stuff, such as uh, you know your, your banking information and it, big mess here. Um, and then there was a massive statement here by Comcast they said that they shared the following statement with Bleeping Computer after the article was published. Uh, but then, of course, there was more details that they didn't want to share just yet. So it looks like they're they're basically still trying to figure this all out is what we're what we're getting from this. But 
Consider this an update for you if you've been wondering if you are an Xfinity customer or someone you know, a friend, relative has been impacted by this, this is what's going on, it's a developing story. But this is very serious stuff and you know, as with any of these data breaches, we always say the same things, you know, what what can these companies really do to, to prevent this? This is not the first time uh, Xfinity has been hit with a with a massive data breach. I, I think they said somewhere that something like this happened about a year ago. It wasn't as large, but you would think since then that they would have tried to do something to kind of tighten the belt here. Now, what's to be said? Is it is it really a security vulnerability with the actual system there, or is it a disgruntled employee messing with things? You know. If you have someone in a high power position that has access to multiple systems, someone in IT, someone, you know, maybe in the networking department who has the bigger hand, like, you know, a regular IT support guy has limited, so, you know, someone above them has to, you know, approve most transactions. But if you're like one of the top networking engineers for Xfinity, you have access to everything. And uh, basically, you can just send a code out and flood the gates and hack everybody's account. Now, I mean, do we have? Do these companies have to be more careful of who they hire? Should they enforce more security methods, like maybe make instead of two people, you know, making it a dual transaction, maybe a triple, you know, transaction? That could be very annoying, right? That could be a big issue. What if one guy calls out? Then maybe no work gets done. So it's really, it's really tough to say how they're going to figure this. Maybe they just need to enhance their entire security system and overall process. But either way, this is serious stuff. This is a lot of people that are, you know, affected by this. And this could be really bad. This could be a really big lawsuit against them. And they could lose millions and millions of dollars, um, depending how this, how this all pans out. So this is, you know, this is tough. And for a company like Xfinity and Comcast that's already barely surviving, let's be real. Like, we know how well Cable's doing and we know how Xfinity is doing. Not all that good. These are the types of things that can really just make them close down shop and just pack it up and go home. Because this is a lot of, this is going to be a big issue. If This can potentially be a very big issue. I think it, it probably will be. A lot of people were affected by this. So I guess we'll just have to see how much information was actually leaked and how severe the whole thing really was rather than just kind of a guessing. I mean, they're saying that they believe that very sensitive information such as socials, date of birth and all that, as mentioned, could have been compromised. So they're not really sure. And it, it looks like they're, they're kind of leaning towards they think it was. So that's very bad. When you start giving out socials, date of births, banking info, you know, access to your cryptocurrency and all that. Not a good thing. So like I said, developing story, any updates, uh, I'll let you guys know if you're interested. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.